Storm Team 4 now, a look at your weekend forecast. Well, as we gear up for the weekend. I'm looking ahead. You know, we, right, we're all mm -hmm. looking at the weekend forecast. Brian, today is beautiful. Yeah, you can start looking ahead of the weekend like when you start going over the hill on Wednesday. Yeah, it's That's like, <laughs> or like Monday if you're yeah. me. So. That's true. Uh, it is beautiful outside, Simone. Again, we're looking at comfortable conditions. Another good thing, too, is the uh, allergies, allergies are, the pollens are starting to go down, too. Uh, right now, we have low pollens for grass, weed pollens, and tree pollens. The molds, which were way high, just a couple days ago starting to go down as well. This is a live look. Well, that's not West Bend unless West Bend really grew here. 73 degrees in West Bend winds out of the east at six miles per hour. Here is downtown Milwaukee where we have blue skies overhead. Man, it feels really good out there. 72 degrees, bright sunshine, a hint of humidity with a dew point at 62. I think overall it's pretty comfortable conditions for the middle of July. This is the dog days of summer. Temperatures across southeastern Wisconsin, mainly 70s. Port Washington lagging behind right along the lake shore there. Temperatures in the 60s. In general, the dew points are comfortable. Uh, 40s and 50s. We have a little bit of an influence off of the water of Lake Michigan, which is actually key Keeping our dew points up a little bit right along the lakeshore uh, with a temperature and a dew point temperature around 62 degrees. All right, your dew point forecast in general comfort zone today. Tomorrow slightly more humid and definitely this weekend starting to feel sticky. I think we're going to flirt with that 70 mark for dew points this weekend. So here's your weather headlines. Cool for July today. Unsettled weather starting tomorrow and then humid for the weekend. The storm for max radar. And satellite uh, across southeastern Wisconsin. Uh, again, you can ignore this little light green right near the radar site. As we widen the view out, uh, you can see some showers working their way across South Dakota. And this is a, a frontal system that will be coming into play for us starting tomorrow morning. So future forecast in the meantime today, soak up the sunshine. Going to be a great evening at Bastille Days. And overnight tonight, we're looking for maybe just a few scattered clouds. Some rain showers and storms starting to work across western Wisconsin late tonight. Sure. Maybe Walworth and Jefferson County gets clipped with a few of those uh, early tomorrow morning, but then everybody gets in on the action late morning tomorrow through midday. We could see some maybe some heavy downpours with this. I think severe threat is pretty minimal and then still some more scattered showers and storms to go uh, tomorrow evening. It's starting to look pretty soggy uh, for our Friday and then maybe a stray shower or storm on Saturday. A lot more hit and miss this weekend. So sunny and pleasant 75 today inland 80 for tonight. A low of 62 inland 56. Here's your seven day forecast and on Friday. Friday, rain and storms is starting to look pretty likely. This is looking to be the soggiest of days. Friday, 82 on Saturday, 84 on Sunday with just scattered showers and storms. And then as we head into next week, we start heating up. Right now it looks like 90 on Tuesday, Simone. And uh, tomorrow looks to be the day maybe to avoid the outdoor plans. Ooh, but uh, Saturday, Sunday, spotty. Yes, uh, so definitely like a day where most of the day is fine and then it might rain for like 10 minutes. We can plan accordingly though. We can handle that.